so the hydrogen has been weighted before and after the, uh, the supply of hydrogen to the plant. Before the, um, um, we have a scale, before, to, before the loading of the hydrogen <coughs> in the uh, reactors, the weight measured is 13604.5 kilograms. I am sorry for Americans, uh, I use it European, but if you need, I can, uh, I can make an equation uh, for you, but uh, if you are not familiar with, with, familiar with kilograms, we, we use a kilogram. Anyway, I repeat, <coughs> before the loading it was 13604.5 kilograms. After the loading, the weight measured is, was 13602.8 kilograms. No, no, no. Oh, scusate, chi, eh, grammi, grammi, grammi. I am used, I told you. Yeah. Of course, uh, I am talking of grams, of course. Uh, 13.604.5 grammi. I said before, 13604.5 13 kilograms. It was grams, not kilograms. I am sorry. Uh, I am sorry. And of course, after the loading, it was 13602.8 grams. Grazie. The hydrogen tank pressure has been measured before and after the load. Hydrogen pressure before the load was 55 bar. Hydrogen pressure after the load was 55 bar. Of course, because the amount of hydrogen that we charged was less than 2 grams and the 2 grams of hydrogen are not enough to make the pressure in the tank change. Average temperature of the water at the input 18.3 Celsius. Average temperature of the steam at the output 104.5 Celsius degrees. The diagram of the temperature is in the attachment that we will email to you. Again, the diagram with all the temperature and the function of the temperature against the time, uh, you will find the temperatures in the y's and the time in the x's. Uh, you will find all that in your computer, just give us uh, your email uh, and uh, you will find it uh, tonight. Energy consumed from, um, tw from 12 30 when the reactor, the uh, engineer that made the test uh, considered the consume of energy and the production of energy from when we started, well, from when we stayed, now the reactors have been started. So from when the, uh, the reactors uh, are gone in self-sustaining mode. Uh, they have considered only this, uh, this uh, period, have insulated this period. Energy consumed from 12.30 when the reactor has been turned on and 18.6 p.m. when the reactor has been turned off, we have consumed 66 kilowatt hours. Total energy production uh, from uh, 12.30 through 6 p.m. 2000 635 kilowatt hours. The flow uh, rate of the water has been uh, the flow rate of water has been 675.6 liters per hour of water. The water not vaporized has been 5 kilograms that have been collected in a, in a, in a, in a tank uh, in a separated tank. The water vaporized has been 3,715 kilograms. The total energy produced has been uh, 2,635 kilowatt hours. The ratio, the, the COP is difficult to calculate because we have 2,635 kilowatts made and basically during the, this period we did not consume energy. Of course, we have consumed we have consumed the, uh, 65, the 66 uh, kilowatt hours to uh, run the, the fans and the, uh, uh, and the pumps, the, the, the two pumps. We will see now the, the data of this stuff. Description of the test installation. The one megawatt energy catalyzer is, is 
uh, an assembly of 107 modules uh, of uh, 10 kilowatts each connected in parallel. You have noticed uh, that uh, we did not uh, produce uh, one megawatt hour per, hour per hour, we produced uh, less than that. And uh, this is because uh, we had uh, to uh, lower the power of, uh, the, um, of uh, the power of the plant because in self-sustaining uh, we had the temperature at a certain time that rises too much and uh, um, the, the, the system was uh, difficult to, uh, to modulate and uh, this, also the, the, this is also the reason why uh, we uh, had to stay there very, very strictly. And uh, so we have produced, if you make the calculation, we have produced 2,600 uh, 2,635 kilowatt hour divided by what is that? Uh, the reduction of 5 euro and mezza. We made about. Come puoi fare il calcolo per favore? 2,635 diviso 5,5. Bene. Uh, quindi il, uh, we have produced 479 watt hour per hour. So it is not one megawatt hour per hour, but kilowatt, again, I include. Uh, we made 470 kilowatt hour per hour, which is not one megawatt hour per hour, but we prefer, we have to choose if to go all self-sustained or to go mm, with the drive of the resistance. The customer wanted to go all self-sustained because it is more important for him. So at this point, the, the, we, we made 470 kilowatt hours per hour, which is pretty short respect to 1 megawatt hour per hour, but it is very important that this work has been made completely without energy input. So the COP theoretically is endless. Description of the installation. The 1 megawatt energy catalyzer uh, is an assembly of uh, 107 uh, modules. Of, so, even if the catalyzer is made by 107 modules of 10 kilowatt each, today we have worked with about 4.5 kilowatt of power per each instead of 10. This, uh, this sacrifice has been necessary to go full, uh, full time with self-sustaining mode. All the modules are set in a container by, made by steel, as you have seen. Uh, the assembly is commanded by a, a control panel supplied uh, with the necessary software and all the necessary electronic components, uh, whose description has been detailed in the etc. All the components uh, result to be as guaranteed from a, a preliminary check. The dimensions of the container are length uh, 5 meters, width uh, uh, 2.5 meters, say 2.6 meters, weight uh, declared by the manufacturer at 10 tons, Noise emissions below 50 dBA at 5 meters from the plant, of course, without considering the uh, dissipator stance. Waste emissions known, gas or smoke emissions known, liquid emissions known. The water supplied uh, to the reactors by means of two pumps uh, with a flow rate uh, capacity of 3,000 liters per hour regulated by valve so that the flow rate has been of uh, uh, about 350 liters per hour per each pump. The type of pump is DAD jet 82 m The reactors have been also served by, a, by RFG whose data are reported, etc. Uh, the energy consumed by um, the RFG system is 50 watts. The heat made by the reactor has been dissipated in a steam condenser and the water obtained from the condensation of the heat has been recycled to the reactor. Additional water has been added from the grid to compensate the water lost from the reservoir by means of floating bases to maintain constant the level of water in the reservoir. The modules have been divided into rows, each, of, of we, uh, each with an independent pump so that each pump has a flow rate of uh, 350 liters per hour for a total of 700 roughly liters per hour. The dissipators have been uh, designed by Leonardo Corporation and are made by two air water heat exchangers, each cooled by two axial fans. Conclusion, the results of the test are satisfactory reserves to be upgraded the system of gaskets. Some leaks have been noticed.